Hello, I'm Rose. Today we'll show you how to do automatic mapping after obtaining the data with a laser scanner. It takes five steps to complete the automatic mapping. First, using the laser scanner to obtain the scanning module. Second, taking a photo with a DSLR. The third step is photo modeling. The final step is the autom automatic fusion of the laser model and the photo model model. And at the end, we'll show you the high definition 3D color model with high precision. The first step using the laser scanner to obtain the scanning model. You can see the data is highly precise and the scanning process is not very long. The second step is to take a photo with DSLR. The first is the SLR setting. Our purpose is to make the photo clear. This requires us to use a small focal length and a small aperture when taking pictures so that we can have a greater depth of field. We can use the M file of the camera to set these parameters ourselves. In the case of a small aperture, the photos will be darker, so it's best for us to increase the exposure time, like 1 25th in, of a second. The ISO should be set at about 800, according to the st strength of the field light. At this time, it will be better to set up a tripod so that the photo won't be blurred. And then it's the light setting. Two fuel lights should be set in 90 degrees. This is to ensure the object has no shadow or highlight in the camera's perspective. Please note that it's necessary to set solid color, high contrast background. In some cases, like shooting black objects, please use a white background. You can get photos from all angles of the object. When all the photo positions are spherical around the object, it will be convenient for photo modeling. The third step is photo modeling. We do it in the reality capture. The whole process is quite easy. The most difficult part is taking photos. First, import the picture and then click to align the image. It usually takes a while here. After editing, we use the fastest way to calculate the model. After that, we can see the obtained data is relatively rough and some parts are lost. Compared with photo modeling, laser scanner can obtain more detailed and better data.
transport module and perform scaling and alignment in a third-party software, it is the laser model that needs to be aligned to the model obtained by photomodeling. That is, the model coordinates of the photomodeling pass to the laser scanning mode. If the spatial position is wrong when aligning, don't re-import it to RC. Otherwise, you will get a wrong texture result. The final step is the automatic fusion of the laser model and the photomodel model. Export the aligned laser monochrome model from a third-party software and replace the photomodel model. Then, in the RC software, re-import the laser model monochrome model and map it again. Now we can get a relatively good 3D color model with high definition. Most atoms can be processed in this way. Let's take a look at the final model. It's quite beautiful, right? Let's have a try. Thanks for watching. For more aerial videos, check the website below. Feel free to leave us a message. See you soon. Bye bye.